Have you ever seen a professional Counter-Strike 2 player using Deathmatch and wondered how are they in one of these servers and what do I do to warm up like a pro? Well today I'm going to teach you exactly how pros Deathmatch inside of Counter-Strike 2. I will give you the guide and by the end of this video you are going to be finding yourself in servers with actual professional players playing in the same game with them and warming up with them. Maybe you'll be part of them warming up for the major. There's so many cool implications for this. And by the end of the video, you're gonna know the secret formula to that. But first I do have to share a message with you. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade lock can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. Let's talk about how to deathmatch inside of Counter-Strike 2 like a pro. Now, a lot of you guys that are new to the game, you might be thinking, oh yeah, I know how to deathmatch. We just joined one of these servers here in the, in the browser, right? That's how we do it. Absolutely not, guys. Stop warming up in one of these deathmatch servers. I get that you want your XP. I get that it's fun. But if you actually are inter interested in getting better at Counter-Strike 2, this is not the way to do it. Trust me, you don't want to be in here. Instead, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to tab out really quickly here. Um, you guys should be able to see my screen is find one of these servers um, on your on your browser, right? I'll link them in the description of the video. These are not sponsored. The only sponsor of this video is Skins Monkey, not these websites, but you're going to need to use these, right? So on Prac.com, um, that's the most popping one in North America. Look, Pro Online, Pro Online. Um, go ahead and, and find the Deathmatch servers. You might have to subscribe to some of these. Um, in EU, Xplay is very popular. You could probably play Xplay Deathmatch. There is one uh, NA server up right now or warm-up server all three of these are great options to play on i prefer prac.com personally um i think it's very popular in na and south america if you're in eu i think like xplay is good and maybe uh warm-up server i'm not sure let's see europe rifle yeah it's pretty you know there's there's server over here but use one of these and you're going to be set so we're going to copy the ip and what you could do now is you open up counter-strike again open counter-strike up wait for it there we go and I want you to open up your console. Now, once you open up the console, go ahead and type connect. Oh, we only have to do that, guys. Look at that. You just paste in exactly what you copied and boom. We are now going to load into a deathmatch server where pros are going to be in and people are warming up for their matches are gonna be in. Now, what is different about this server is that it, one, it has so many people in it and it's a free for all, right? It doesn't matter what team you're on, it's, it's free for all, right? And we're, which pro is in here? As you can see, and here in North America, we have Wiz. And down here, we have the pro Koja mode. And what's great about the server is you can buy guns and at you know any point, and you can run around, do your thing like normal deathmatch. But it's just extremely competitive, and it's really fast paced. One thing I want you guys to think about while you're in here deathmatching is not think about getting kills and you know your KD and all this stuff. But instead, I want you to just worry about how you're killing people, how you're getting warm, and if you're feeling loose enough, right? One thing that a lot of good players do inside this game, instead of playing it normal, they'll go for one taps, right? They'll go here and just worry about one tapping their opponents. Um, say your spray is really bad. Then instead of one tapping everyone and going for those, every single kill, they're not going for headshots. They're going for spray downs because they want to work on their spray. Your KD does not matter inside of this, right? Stop playing for KD. This isn't like Valve DM where there's a scoreboard and, or, you know, there, there, there's like a pedestal first, second, third place. This is purely about feeling yourself and getting ready. What a lot of pros do is they actually change their volume to zero, crank some music, and just blast and have a good time. Um, also, what's really good is using a deagle in this, warming up your pistols, feeling really good with that. And before you know it, you're going to be killing pros and you know having a great time with it. So I think it's just a very good tool to use. My advice to a new player in this game is literally throw yourself in the ringer. Come in here and get destroyed, right? Get destroyed. And if you're really brand new to the game, one thing you can do is I believe you can spectate, bro. You can spectate and we can come here and let's see if we can find Wiz. So we're gonna find Wiz and see how he plays, right? So you could literally come in here and just see how the pros play and what they're doing, kind of how they're playing around, jiggling, doing these things and get so much better, right? Um, if you're a better player at the game, I wouldn't recommend just watching people, but it can be very solid. It's just a very good thing to do, right? Getting better at Counter-Strike is all about uh, obtaining all this knowledge learning from the better players and the, what better way to do it than be in the same server with them, right? So I'd recommend when you get in here, especially if you're opping, 
go ahead and roll through the rifles, the AK, and I think we can type in M4A1S in chat with an exclamation mark. Go through A1S kills, you know, go through your rifles, then pull out the ops, start going around opping. And then once you get that ready, just go ahead and start digging and feeling good. But put your volume down, crank some music on, have a good time and frag out and just always enjoy it. Have a good time. Warming up doesn't have to be boring. Warming up doesn't have to be sad. It can be a great time. And this is a good thing to do in between games too. When you're in queue waiting for your next match, this is a perfect way to de-stress and get yourself back in the zone. After you lost a six OT match, what better thing to do than hop right back in and start fragging. I'm kidding guys, make sure you're taking breaks and you know, you're resetting when you need to, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to check me out live every single weekday on twitch.tv slash kojimacs. You'll see me using these DM servers and you can ask me personal questions and I can help you become the best player possible. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out these two videos on your screen right now. They're bangers and you guys will learn a lot from it. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out, peace out.